Hi, it's Jim from StarryHope.com, and today I just wanted to make a quick video to talk to you about some recent changes that have happened on my Pixelbook in Developer Channel. Now, if you don't know, Developer Channel is the uh, before beta channel. It's where changes come into Chrome OS first for testing. Um, and then usually they make their way into the beta channel and then into the stable channel for all of your Chromebooks. Um, Chrome Unboxed did a very good video overview of all the changes in Chrome OS version 70 in the dev channel and all the different tablet based features for that. And there's some really great stuff going on. Um, but today my Chrome, my Pixelbook updated and I f was just kind of shocked by this whole change in the shelf here that you can see at the bottom. And you'll see I'm running s version 70.0.35. 38.16 and one thing that they've been changing a lot is the the target area for clicking on icons and doing things in tablet mode and you can see in the shelf area at the bottom that they've made the shelf a good 10 to 20 percent bigger they've also moved the icons to the center which is a little bit weird and I honestly and we don't like it. My first impression is that I don't like it. Um, it might be good for tablet mode and it might be good for Mac users, but it just seems a little bit shocking, a little bit weird um, when you're opening up your Chromebook and suddenly uh, everything's in the center and the bottom shelf is so much bigger. And one thing that bothers me about them doing this is that it looks like they've actually fixed this a little bit, but they've been making the touch targets for all of these things in Chrome so much bigger um, to the point where this area up here is taking up a lot more space than it used to, especially on a desktop. Um, you don't really need huge target areas for your bookmarks and for your tab uh, stuff and for your, your close and minimize and all that. Um, I kind of wishing that they would go back to having it smaller when you're in desktop mode and then when you go into tablet mode um, to make it bigger. Although this is a lot better than it was a few weeks ago. But taking up extra space here, a good 20% more space with the shelf on the bottom, just seems like a huge waste of uh, real estate to me. So I'm kind of hoping that they don't, that that doesn't make it uh, into the final version of Chrome OS. Some other great things that are in version 70, um, this ability to have the My Files with, you know, the Play Store and the Linux, uh, the Play Files and the Linux files installed here um, is really nice. Um, it's still a little bit confusing that you only have one local folder called Downloads. Um, to add to the confusion, they made it so that you have these magic folders now. So I have uh, some MP3s. I have an mp3 and a couple jpegs here and if you see up at the top um, now those jpegs show up in my images folder and this is kind of like a magic folder uh, where it just shows all the images that are in your downloads folder uh, the videos I don't have any but the audio you can see the, the mp3 file that's in my downloads folder shows up there um, another thing that's weird about that is you can't take a file um, from, you know, your downloads folder and put it somewhere else. It says access restricted. Um, so it's kind of just like a shortcut to image files or audio files or video files. But that's a little weird. Um, Google Drive has been added to the bottom, moved down to the bottom, which is uh, an interesting move on Google's part. And um, they have added the ability to add in um, Samba shares, so Windows file shares from scratch. So like you don't have to install an extra extension or anything to do that. And apparently we're supposed to be having the ability to, to in a future version, to actually explore the network right from over here. So that'll be interesting. Uh, one of the other features that Chrome Unbox talked about, and I'll link their video uh, in the bottom, is the set wallpaper uh, application is much better. 
And one thing that I thought was really interesting about it is they have this explore button on here. So you can actually find online uh, the picture that they're using and what site it's on and all that. And one thing that's interesting is if you go down to the earth part and you click on one of these and click explore, it'll open it up in Google Maps and show you exactly where that is, where they got the image from, which is pretty cool. You know, it's just some island out in the middle of nowhere, it seems like. So that helps you find the different cool textures that they're finding from the Earth section uh, in your Google Maps, which I think is pretty cool. Let's change that wallpaper. There's something nice. Uh, the other big changes are mostly in the app drawer here or the app launcher. So you have your your recent applications down here now. Um, this looks a little bit different than what we've been used to, but for the most part, it's it's pretty simple to use. Um, the tablet mode experience is really quite nice now, and also like the multi-window experience. I, I can't really show you the tablet mode right now. Um, check out the Chrome Unboxed video for that, but like, uh, the multi, you know, having multiple apps up on your window, on your screen at the same time has always been a feature. In tablet mode, it looks even better. And one thing <clears throat> that's exciting to me is now you can launch a an Android app, for example, bring that up over on half your screen, and also like a Linux app like Firefox. Uh, and have that up on your other side of the screen. This is really becoming quite a versatile desktop. You know, I can run my Linux apps. I can run Google Earth right there beside it. And uh, there's pretty much not much besides the full version of Microsoft Office that you can't run well on a Chromebook at this point. Um, so I can open up Inkscape and I can put it, it acts just like any other window on there. So there's some exciting stuff coming to Chrome OS version 70 sometime in October. Really excited to see what Google is going to talk about at their event, what their new Pixelbook is going to look like. Um, awesome new features with Linux apps and Android apps and tablet mode coming to Chrome OS to make it a really compelling desktop. I just hope that they continue to make it a desktop operating system and not just a tablet operating system and consider the needs of those people who are just using it as a desktop. Let me know what you think about these new features in the comments below and anything that I missed or uh, that you want me to take a look at uh, for a future video, leave those in the comments. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe please if you want to see more videos about Chromebooks and Linux. And check out the Chrome Unboxed video that I'm linking in the uh, description. It's definitely worth checking out if you're into Chrome OS. Thanks and have a great day.